Hey, this is Lucas Miller, the singing zoologist with a little kitchen table science that you can try at home. What is Earth's most important chemical reaction? If you guessed Mentos and Coca-Cola, you guessed wrong, 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 wrong. If you guessed photosynthesis, yeah, you guessed right. Now, photosynthesis, what is it? It means making stuff with light. Now, plants create food using solar energy. You can't eat sunlight and neither can plants, but you can use solar energy to make sort of a little chemical battery called sugar. Sugar. Sh sh sugar. Sugar. Yeah, we all love sugar because there's lots of energy in sugar. That little battery pack is what makes you and every living thing around you go, unless you're living about 5,000 feet underwater at the bottom of the ocean near a hydrothermal vent, but I'm guessing that's not you. To make sugar, plants need carbon dioxide and water. Now, it takes energy to put those things together, and that energy comes from the sun. Yay, yeah, the sun! <laughs> now, the other thing that's left over from making sugar is oxygen. When you take a nice deep breath, Thank you, plants. Thank you, photosynthesizers of the world. You need that oxygen. All right. Now, if you want to see photosynthesis at home, you need about four things. First of all, you're going to need a plant, right? Yes, a plant. So, I have a plant, which is called Elodia. Say, Elodia. Elodia. <laughs> you might be able to get it at your aquarium or pet store. It's also called Anacris. Uh, it's actually kind of an invasive plant, so when you're done with it, don't put it in the pond, okay? It can cause problems in your local streams. You've got to have a plant, and you've got to have some water. Mm-hmm. Got some water right there. Water. 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 Sugars are made from carbon oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen comes from water. You often hear it called H2O, right? Okay. The hydrogen comes off and the plants use that to make their food and then the oxygen is released and that's what you breathe in, okay? And that's also where the light is needed because it takes energy to rip that up and water will be ripped up with lots of energy from the sun. The next thing we're gonna need is carbon dioxide. We all have a good plentiful supply of carbon dioxide right here in our lungs. And you need your carbon dioxide and your carbon dioxide delivery device. So we're going to put some carbon dioxide in this water. Here we go. I used to get in trouble for this, but this is science. there. I made the cameraman laugh. Okay, here we go. Camera woman laugh. Here we go. Water, carbon dioxide, going to the plant. Thank you, singing zoologist. I love you. And going all over the kitchen table. Science is awesome. The next thing we need is the sun. Now, I'd get in trouble if I put the sun in the kitchen. Uh, not to mention I'd be vaporized. So, I have here a sun substitute, a little light for $9.97 at your local big box hardware store place. Oh, thank you. Okay, so now we have some light shining on the plant. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think you'll see sugar accumulating at the bottom? Probably not. That stays in the plant. I don't have any uh, sugar testing kits, but I do think that we can actually see little bubbles of oxygen coming off the plant. Photosynthesis, what is it? It means making stuff with light. Plants create food using solar energy called sugar. 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 Now, take 
is left over from making sugar is oxygen. Take a nice deep breath. 